Yep, I'm back everybody. This here come from up in here. Right in there. Another one of those old Quaker embossed whiskeys. And it's got the cap. And this cap here, it's in a lot better shape. So, you know, just having a slammer of a day, I guess. You know, having a great time. This is fun. See ya. Yeah, all right. Uh, I'm back with you here. I got something I'm working on back here. It's got nice looking stuff to it. I think it's a like a kettle, maybe a yeah, a kettle or something. But in the process, look at this beautiful, holy moly. That, that might be the very best marble that I've ever found. People, look at that. Anybody got an idea about what that is? Hey there, Mr. Marietta. <laughs> You're the marble master. What's up with this, man? That is, that's a thing of beauty. Tell me what that is. <laughs> I don't know. But that's all time on the all time. I just don't, I'll, I'd put that up against every marble I got. Holy moly, moly, moly. And it's, I'm in, you know, I'm way down in here, man. You know, this was way down under the ground. And I just got that great milk or whatever that was, some kind of a dairy product thing you know a little while ago and i'm just in some great layers but just look at the work of the this is a masterpiece of a marble look at this thing it's a masterpiece i think i just found something that's actually worth a considerable amount of money look at this it's oh wow all right everybody i'm gonna get back at it Maybe maybe that whole kettle maybe that whole kettle's full of those. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? All right, see ya. Hey everybody, check out this beautiful, beautiful porcelain. It's got one thing right here, and I won't touch it. But look at it. I mean, it's it's in great shape. Great shape. But that's not why I turned this on. Turned this on. I tell you what, I'm. There must be a lot of luck in the air these days. Check out this beer bottle. It says, the, it says Consumers Brewing Co. Newark, Ohio. Yeah. Yes. Check that out, man. And it's full. All right. Oh. I've been finding there's a lot of wine and whiskeys in here. I knew eventually I'd land a great beer bottle. And... Well, newsflash, everybody. I've did me a lot of beer drinks in my life. <laughs> All right. Woo, that'll work. See ya. All right, everybody. Well, you know, I'm digging in here. And this, this is a bucket full of, like, coal ash. That's what that is. You know, somebody just threw it right over the hill. There's a lot of slag in here. It's some coal slag and things. But when I done that, I can see something back in here. And it's looking good. Yeah, it's real great. Ketchup bottle, see? Wah, wah, wah. Yep, see ya. Okay, everybody, it looks like I got a, a good mason jar right there. So uh, I'm going to pull this live, but I wanted to show this. This is these early craft food jars. It's aqua. Can you see that's colored glass? It's bluish green glass, embossed craft on the side. I've got a few of those at the house, quite a few of them. But we're going to try to pull this here. I hope it's full. You never know. You know. It's a dump. It looks like it's a good one. Yes. And it looks full. Number. Looks like a number nine to me. I watched something fall down and hit this jar and break it, but it's like the jar is perfect. Yep, it's a killer. Drop day two. Yep, it's a nice one. That's a good jar. Yeah, baby, yeah. Oh, all right.
be back at you. See ya. Well, I was going to come over here because I found some copper. See this copper right here? I believe it's leading into... So I want to get into this. I believe there's probably an isolator over here. You know, that's usually how it works. But anyways, while I'm doing that, this caved in over here. Well, I just gave it a glance and then I looked. There's a mason lid and a, it looks like a jar here. So let's see, see what's up. Uh, lid's not in that great of shape. Well, it's not a drop day. Probably 50s, 1950s, something like that. Number four on it. But there's all kinds of air bubbles in it. But yeah, it's not a drop day. And the L's not dropped either. <laughs> Yeah, definitely 1950s, 40s, maybe 40s at the most. Still, you know, when you're finding blue mason jars, you know, I'll take them all day long. If I could find a thousand of them, I'd take a thousand of them. All right, see ya. Hey, everybody. I just found another killer beer. This is called the Huter Pole Brewing Co. Cincinnati, Ohio. And just look at that, man. There's there's air bubbles all through this. I mean, look at the air bubbles in this sucker. Oh, what a bottle. What a bottle. Look at the air bubbles. Just, what a bottle. That's a smoker. Man, it's got a chip in it at the top, but I don't care. I've, that is an incredible bottle. That's old. That's real old. Wow. All right. Be back at you. I'm keeping this one. It's there's an. It's got one chip right here. Doesn't matter. What a smoker. That's an old old beer bottle. Shh. Wow. See ya. Boy, I tell you what. It's pretty sketchy his stuff. Look out, it's just crumbling, crumbling down on me. Yeah, but boy, have I been in a great layer. This has been a fun, fun day. But look, agony of defeat moment. Look at that crap. Right there, that's a, that's a standard. I bet you that's a ball. Sure is. And sure is standard mason wax seal. When you find these and they're perfect, that's a hundred and fit. They're going for about a hundred and fifty dollars a piece. You know if they're pre uh, nineteen hundred. Whoa! Yeah. At all times, got to be ready. See them flapping my jaws, and then something comes and blindsides me, and I can't hear out of my left ear. So I didn't hear that until it basically come down but yeah that's a great one no number on it you know these are all the 1890s just a shame yep buck 50 a piece when they're killer all right be back at it see you hey everybody so i got this let's land this cork bottle here all right there you go. See ya. Hey everybody. Now it's got this Sloan's liniment. Yeah, it's been tough a go here, but I'm still at it. Trying to find me a one last real good one before I leave. Alright everybody. See ya. Well, I can't wait to pull that. That might be a very early sun kiss. But I just found something awesome. I can see there's a... Wow, this thing's got air bubbles all through it. It says... Dre Perfect Mason, and it's aqua. 
look at the air bubbles in it. It's just ridiculous. That might be like a little crack, but very small. It doesn't matter when it's something like, you know, that wee little imperfection. And I've never heard it. I've never even heard of this before. Eh. Dre. Perfect Mason. All right, well, you can see, you know, it's pretty good shape. Another keeper. It's like aqua, it's not blue. Kind of like those atlases that I find. I don't know if it's full or not, but we'll find out. No, it's thicker. It's one of them crazy whiskeys. Yep, with the crest on it. And the other one that I have, that I have, I like, I think two of these. They're all clear. This one's brown. That is awesome. If I could get a label put right there, man, this thing would look sweet. I'm liking that. All right. Man, that's weird, Dre. <sighs> no, that ain't a crack. But yeah, Dre, perfect Mason. That's a new one on me. All right, everybody, see ya. Hey, everybody. I just want to give you a shot here of this Dre jar now that I have it done. It's 1920s Dre. But I was wrong. It's not aqua. It's like some kind of a, it's like bl actually blackened. It's like a blackened glass. It's, I don't have one that's this color. It's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah, it's like a blackened glass, so it's not it's not blue. Just wanted to show you that. See ya. Well, I tell you what, everybody. I've had a day of days. So since I showed last, look at this deco. Look at this, like starbursts or something all over it. And there's a, there's a name on the bottom of this bottle. I can't read it. And I'll get to it some other time, but. It's really nice. That's Deco. That's Art Deco right there. That's turn of the century, probably 1920. That was a big movement then, but that ain't what's got me just... I'll give you some guesses. What do you think that is before I go ahead and I say it? That's a bottle of wine. And look, see that? It ain't pouring out. The cork's still in it. It's, you know, there's sediment. I could, you know, it's red wine. I can tell, you can see it, it's red. And there's, you know, it's, it's you couldn't drink this, but nonetheless. And there's, I mean, look at this bottle. I mean, it's a freak show. It's, it's, it's so old. I mean, when they, when they made this bottle, I mean, it's so, there's, there's air bubbles in it, but there's like air bubbles on the top. I mean, it's. Look at that thing. Look at that. I, it's just ridiculous. This is a, you know, I've had a one of, one of, you know, this has been like a day of days. Oh, I forgot to even say that. That's Anson. I usually like bare aspirin. You can find a million of them in these old dumps, but that Anison, they don't make that no more, so I keep those. But, you can see, look, look at the iridescence starting to come off of this. See, it's like the rainbow looking stuff. That's just, uh, this, these things haven't seen the light of day in a hundred years or more. Just some great finds today. And down in there, I've been working on that. See that? It's like some kind of a pot. See that? I've been working on getting that out of there, so... I just wanted to show you that, you know, how many times do you find a 100-year-old plus bottle of wine that's from Milan, I think Milan's Italy. Just unbelievable, too, you know, unbelievable day, just unbelievable. All right, everybody, be back at it, see you. Well, everybody, I think I'm about done. I just dug these up. Yeah, that's my second one of these, this dude's face on it. And that's a 1915 French's mustard jar. So, 
I'll be taking that as well. And there's my, you know, I, don't, I can't tell you how many of these cork whiskeys that I dug up today. That's pretty nice. A little blue bottle. But, well, I'm going to start loading up here. It's time to get out of here. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. And those who have watched and have not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm staying busy doing this stuff all the time. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll be seeing you.